Every Adobe Express feature offers a creative opportunity. So let's talk about how you can use grids in Adobe Express. A lot of people underestimate the power of grids and I'm going to show you a couple of examples that you can use for your own brand or your clients. So here's a one page style guide that we did as a template and we have used grids in the brand color section. So people are able to click on each of these elements to change the colors. You can also adjust the padding, the spacing, and we also have that for brand patterns and textures. Here's another example. You can also use grids to to create a color reference guide. So let me show you some examples of how you can start fresh with grids. I have a new page here and I'm gonna go to the left panel and click on grids. Here you have 40 results and I'm sure the team is gonna add more in the future from grids that you can pick from. I'm just gonna select one and then it adds that to my page. You can resize this in any way, shape or form that you want and what's really great is that it'll actually accommodate whatever dimensions you have on your design. Then you can start double clicking on each element to either replace it with an image or if I delete this, add a solid color and just define your fill colors. Now, if I double clicked and deleted the image that was there, which was one of these examples, now I can add content. So I can either upload from my device, access my brand kit, or use one of the images here. This is another great way that if you wanna build some sort of mood board, you can use grids to create this. And you can go in and add new content, replace the fills as you go through each individual frame. Now, if I selected the whole grid, I can adjust the padding. I can also adjust the spacing as well. So this gives you even more flexibility to design this in how you see fit. And of course, you can give it a general background color if you want it to fill the entire space of your grid. So now you know a couple of examples of what you can do with grids and get really creative. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more right over here.